exploring the crazy show that is Interbike. Ran into Andrew, How's founder of Vintage. Okay, so we've met up. We were hanging out near the airport in San Santa Clara, Santa Clara yep. by San Jose Airport. Yep. Yeah, yep. and at our shop, we were like racing around on right near the airport on these things. Super fast, super fun. Yeah. And this is like the new thing. I I don't recognize this. Tell me about this. What's the backstory, man? Yeah. So I mean, we have the tracker that we started out with, which is the bike over there. Yeah. Yeah. We went to the cruise, and these are big. You know. Very powerful, you know, bomb-proof, you know, heavy bikes. Fast for, and cool looking yeah, too. Yeah, very cool, you know, for, for the guy that has a nice garage, you can pull them into, but we really wanted to build a bike for the commuter. And uh -huh. that was when we came up with this bike and we're calling it the Cafe. Cafe. Um, you know, it has some gears for pedaling. Um, it's got a seven, <laughs> 750 watt hub motor on it. Okay. Um, 500 watt hour battery pack. And you know, we wanted the bike to be just as beautiful as the other ones, but be really utilitarian. So. Well, and yeah, the handle, yeah, like the handle, oh my gosh. we'd be able to charge, charge laptops, phones, anything off of it. It's removable now, so you can take it up, bring it into your apartment, plug it in, or mm -hmm. at your office. It also kind of is a beautiful little piece to put on your desk. This is it. Magnetic so charging that, port. Yep, charge port. You mentioned charging your laptop, or how do, how would you plug into that? Or yeah, where's so this the? There's a USB port that's going to be back Oh, like there. right over here. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, it's, it's really fast. I mean, this thing is awesome. It's like all of our bikes are fast, and this one matches them too. So it's 28 mile per hour speed pedelec. Um, you get on the pedals on this thing, and it goes. You have five different me modes of assist, uh -huh. and it's really just you know like a bike on bicycle on steroids. Okay, so you said speed pedelec. Tell me about the the cadence or torque sensing. Yeah, so what are you using? we have a torque sensing bottom bracket. Okay. Um, so we have a torque sensing bottom bracket, and uh, and that comes back to the hub motor, and it's wow. it's very very accurate. You know, much better than the cadence. It's like sensors. super responsive. Yeah, and very fluid. very responsive. Does this one do a throttle too? Or you? Uh, we have a throttle option, but okay. right now we're leaving it just pedal assist because that's what. And these are our throttle bikes. Yeah, these are. That's what I'm used to. Put the throttle down and away you go. But we really wanted to make something for that city commuter that just still wants to engage with the bike, uh -huh. but wants the power to get them there and not be sweaty when they show up to work. I love the look, man. I love the colors that you guys use. Even your booth just reflects that. And what's what's? Can you you show me this? Yeah, like this what's going the, on back here, man? This is a limited edition scrambler. Limited edition scrambler. Yeah. So I mean, I've always been in love with '70s style dirt bikes and motorcycles and so that's what this was and under this light you can't quite see it but it's this metallic root beer color root um, beer oh yeah, yeah i can kind of see it oh my dark gosh metallic root beer we did this gold flake graphic on it the you know laser cut stainless or aluminum number plate with the number on it is that for racing is that like back in the day you had the yeah, little the dirt number, bikes the number and stuff? plates and the dirt bike yeah I mean, oh it's man just, it's just about fun and having something to commute on that brings you enjoyment. And, yeah. You know, something like this for our customers is something that they normally couldn't be riding around on the street, but it brings it back to that first dirt bike they had. So I love the inverted that suspension like yeah. that. So yeah. it's maybe a little bit stronger. Yeah. Hydraulic. I mean, it's Hydraulic. Really, yeah, it's really bomb proof. This I, bike's a ton of fun. One of the things that stood out to me when I visited and we hung out that day was like, you, you actually service these. It's yeah. it's more like a car, like where, yeah, okay, you know, you, you're spending something and it's not just, oh yeah, I have a bike. It's it's kind of special. Like they look nice and you're going to be there for people yeah, I mean, the longer term. We don't want someone to have this for a year, two, three, and then throw it away. We want to keep yeah. them on the road. We want them to be pieces that people can hand down to the generations, put a new battery pack in it and, you know, and keep it and keep it as a centerpiece of kind of their garage or wherever they want to keep it. But I read something in, in the, I don't know, it was online, maybe Reddit or something the other day, and it was talking about Sweden or Norway where they're actually giving tax incentives for repair shops to disincentivize the throwaway economy to, yeah, to yeah. basically boost up that kind of a b yeah. business behavior. I think that's awesome, man. Yeah, Maybe. definitely. I mean, we have people sending their, shipping their bikes all the way back from Italy to be retrofitted with their new batteries Whoa. and new controllers and bigger brakes. And people, when they get the bike, they fall in love with it. And they want to hold on to that bike that they got. Yeah. So we want, we want to promote that, definitely. Well, I'm excited about this. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to meet up again and, you know, yeah, do some more rides. Yeah, I want to get you on a ride on the new cafe bike. Oh. Well, on all of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, and hey, look at these t-shirts. Are you in that you're making t-shirts? now too yeah, yeah it's you know it's, it's the style look at the hat like yeah i, I like this I, everyone here has a uniform self-included i got my helmet yeah. but you know i love the i love the style what yeah. do you think babe was did you were kind of like oogling one of these bikes earlier yeah. they're cool badass <laughs> is that the yeah so I realized we were missing something earlier, and it's all this stuff. So we got all these cool accessories and this little satchel bag. What's going on over here, Andrew? I mean, 
all of our customers want to be a little bit different, so we give them the opportunity to customize their Personalize bike. Personalize it. Personalize yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to spend that much money on a bike, it's got to be special, it's got to last a long time, and it's got to be yours. So. Is this is this also part of the personalization yeah, I mean, these are, colors? These are standard colors, so this is to show guys what our standard colors are. We do offer a custom paint. We also offer this full line of suspension forks. You can get in these three different colors. Wow. Um, when you said spend that much money, how much is the new one over there? What's so, it called again? This one is actually the bargain. It's this is the cafe. I mean, it's three nine nine five. Okay. Um, yeah. It's got more power than the Stromer. Rides, in my opinion, much better than a Stromer. And you got the big and tires. And What's the frame? Is this steel so or aluminum? So it's steel. Just it rides so nice. It's yeah. Smooth, it's comfortable, and you know, it's, it's the way to go for one of these city bikes, especially with no suspension on it. But wow. Oh. It's, and it's still working with like a gearless direct drive, yep. so really quiet yeah, and, really and bulletproof qu kind of? Really quiet, bulletproof, just gets you from point A to point B over and over and over again. Okay, well what's the website so if people want to check out more? VintageElectricBikes.com Vintage, like, and sorry, I was like, vintage! I'm yeah. just used to, yeah, yeah VintageElectricBikes.com yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, and I've, you know, I've spent some time on these other bikes, got the reviews, and we'll plan to meet up and do something cool. later this year. Cool. Thanks, bud. Awesome, thank you.